Hello, this is my thought for the day. The third one based on our recent series in the book of Jeremiah at Christ Church. And it's called Broken Cisterns or Living Waters. So let me read first from Jeremiah chapter 2 verses 12 to 14. But my people have exchanged their glorious God for worthless idols. Be appalled at this, you heavens, and shudder with great horror, declares the Lord. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns, that cannot hold water. My dad uh, used to sing a song uh, based on the words I've just read in the Bible. Uh, in fact, he only sang the fir first two lines of the song, which went something like this. I tried the broken cisterns, Lord, but ah, the waters failed. And he always emphasised the ah, ah, the waters failed. When Ruth and I went to Russia uh, recently, uh, we learnt about a woman called Catherine the Great. And she lived about 300 years ago. Um, and in an age where men ruled in general, and her husband, was who was emperor, he was mysteriously strangled. And she became empress in his place. So she became, Catherine became a powerful ruler. And she also had an endless stream of lovers that uh, she bestowed favours on, even after she dumped them. Every new lover she took, she believed, was the one. Until she lost interest and pensioned them off for another. She got through a lot of young men, but did she ever find the one? The thing about these broken cisterns, these self-made solutions that Jeremiah is talking about, is that they seem to satisfy for a while and then they fail, like Catherine's lovers. Whether it's porn, booze, sex, money, hobbies, family, gardening, or whatever it might be, whatever it is that draws you away from the fountain of living waters, it's the gift that doesn't keep on giving. The supply satisfaction eventually fails and we move on to another fad or fancy. In the passage I read, to Jeremiah it's shocking. To God it's an outrage. It's as if the heavens throw its hands up in disbelief. How could they? What fools they are? How blind they are? Perhaps the saddest thing about our generation, our society, is the way that God is just airbrushed out of every discussion in public and private life. People are absorbed, in fact, with drinking from fountains that will ultimately dry up and sources of satisfaction that will, in the end, fail them. But what is your go-to solution when you need help? Where do you go for satisfaction? What is your source of comfort? Who is your bridge over troubled water? Don't be foolish, this passage says. Don't be blind. Don't end up your life saying, Ah, I tried the broken, I tried the broken cisterns, Lord, but ah, the waters failed. Also, in these troubled times that we're going through, when people are finding that the things that they trusted in are failing, let's be ready to lead them to the fountain and the spring of living water. Broken cisterns or living waters. Father, I pray for the people around us in the midst of this pandemic, where so many things that we trust in are taken away, and even our lives seem so fragile. I pray we will be able to point people to you, the fountain of living water. Amen.